All right, the other that. split over the weekend, Tigers Red Sox two and two. We had a Jack Flaherty no hitter watch in one of these games. Other than that, to be honest with you, didn't watch a whole lot of this. Yeah, we had the that. debut <laughs> of Jamie Westbrook, who yes. was the closest thing we were going to get to Drew Maggi this year in terms of a lifelong career minor leaguer finally getting a taste of the big leagues. Jamie Westbrook was drafted as a high schooler in 2013, which means he is the same age as we are. And it makes me feel old that the <laughs> minor league hero is our age, right? Well, that, but also to think like he's been playing minor league baseball for as long as we've been doing this, right? Like we started this the same year, senior year of high school, 2013. And as we've, we reached the majors, you know, fortunate for us a lot faster <laughs> than J.B. Westbrook. He played over a thousand minor league games. He gets up. So congrats to him. Um, but otherwise, now that's OK. Great. Oh, Jamie Westbrook finally makes it up. Well, on the other side of things. Also, the Red Sox. I- incredible tweet from uh, Liam Fennessy, one of my favorite Red Sox He's followers. so good. Dude. <laughs> He's so funny. But uh, just they are as mid as it gets. They have been at 500, I think, like. 15 separate times this year they are now 30 and 30 and this is this is this is kind of every time in the first few months we've been like i can't figure out the red sox what that probably means is that they're heading for 81 81 uh and so that is uh, certainly seems to be what is going on with the red sox i know garrett woodlock is hurt now not that he's been great anyway tigers quickly jane westbrook comes up for the red sox oh amazing jake quickly um yeah. talk about a mid-off between these two teams yes 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 the Tigers, because of the trajectory, we 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 I still, still view them a little bit more favorably. We still view them as like, oh well, it's it's interesting. But I, again, you know, I've been lower on them. Um, here's the point. Here's the news: Spencer Torkelson's going back to AAA. Twenty twenty draft. Torkelson? 20, 2020 draft first overall pick. Uh, twenty twenty draft. Reed Demmer <laughs> is also twenty twenty draft. That draft is is having a, a rough go of it right now. The top <laughs> the top of that draft. Um, what a surprise, the draft where nobody could see any players for three months, uh, maybe had some struggles. Spencer Torkelson, who it seemed like, you know, last year he was OK. He was not putting up a lot of war, but it was like, all right, like this is he didn't seem to be off track. It was like, OK, like the power is there. If we can kind of iron some stuff out, this can be a, a good major league hitter. He's 23. He hits yes. 31 home runs. Yes. That is fine. That's OK. Yes. This However, year, the bottom yes. falls out when he was demoted yesterday he was slashing 201 batting average 266 on base and 330 slug that is a 597 ops a 70 ops plus with 100 being league average he was the worst everyday first baseman in baseball i believe not named <laughs> Rowdy Telez. um and it's a bummer because this was supposed to be the guy right This was the face of the franchise elect. You cannot be the face of a franchise in Toledo, Ohio. No disrespect to Northwest Ohio, but it is very difficult to lead a team from AAA. And Spencer Torkelson needs to figure it out. This is a bummer. His inability to be what he was supposed to be is a reason a legitimate reason that the Detroit Tigers are, I believe, a game under 500. While Bobby Witt, who is doing the thing, and the Kansas City Royals are 11 games above 500. Obviously, there are other reasons, but that is a notable one. Yeah, I think the, again, Spencer Wilson is not doomed. But again, this is a large sample now of, of struggling to be a productive overall hitter. Three for his last 37. That's why you end up going to AAA, right? Like, clearly they were going to have a long leash with this guy because he was hitting for enough power and there was there was enough there. But so far, as a pro, the hit tool, the ability to make adjustments, and I'm not saying he needs to hit 300, but he has been clearly vulnerable enough against big league pitchers to the point where they are not scared of him and they can get him out a lot. He'll run into a ball here and there. The, the power has shown up. And there are to the point where there are probably adjustments he can make to get back to being closer to what he was last year, if not better. But right now he is a vulnerable hitter. And that is why he has to go back to AAA because he is not a tenable situation at the major league level. So it is a huge bummer. 
Um, the last thing on this, it's just because it's so funny. Evan Petzold, the Tigers writer uh, for the Detroit Free Press, tweeted out, okay, Tigers options, men's service with AAA, Toledo per sources. And the photo <laughs> attached to this image for this tweet that has been shared, you know, you know, retweeted 300 times with uh, nearly a thousand likes is one of the funniest, unintentionally funniest things I've ever seen. The Tigers at some point added, you know, we have our home run celebrations, some sort of, how would you even describe this? It's a pizza on like a spear, which appears to be some level of, of little Caesar's nod. Anyway, this is a photo of Spencer Torkelson holding this pizza on a spear, but he looks very sad. And so presumably he looked happy earlier in this sequence. But for the photo, for the news story that he's going down to AAA, you have to have it a little be a little bit more somber. And I just encourage people to go look at this. I'm sorry, Spencer Torkelson. This is just unfortunately one of the funniest things I've seen all season. It's sad pizza spear. It, it's quite a juxtaposition, right? It's a home run celebration, not home run morning. <laughs>